Winter Olympics 2018 Opening Ceremony, Yuna Kim lights the torch The crowning moment of any opening ceremony, the final leg of the torch relay, and the lighting of the Olympic cauldron. In B Park, the golfer is one of the final torch bearers. Two members of the mixed North and South Korean women's hockey team, Chung Soo Hyun of North Korea and Park Jong of South Korea, carry the torch up the stairs. And the hero chosen for the highest of Olympic honors is Yuna Kim, the profoundly popular figure skater who won the gold medal in 2010 and the silver medal in 2014. She is a beloved celebrity in South Korea and often referred to as Queen Yuna. Unified Korean team hears cheers, but not from all. A unified Korean team of athletes marched out together carrying the unification flag as the South Korean president, Moon Jae-in, watched from the stands near Kim Yo-jong, the sister of the North Korean leader. The Olympics may have renewed hopes of a unified Korea for some, but attitudes about becoming a single nation again have shifted since the last time South Korea hosted an Olympics, the 1988 Summer Games in Seoul. In general, younger South Koreans are less favorable of reintegrating with the impoverished North. In fact, a recent survey showed that more than 70% of South Koreans in their 20s were against reunification. They are more interested in domestic issues, like unemployment, and some feel that reuniting the peninsula would be burdensome for the South. Tongan flag bearer steals the show, again. The one-man Tongan team is cross-country skier Peter Tafatafua. He caused a stir at the 2016 Summer Games in Rio de Janeiro, where he was a taekwondo athlete, by carrying the flag shirtless and greased up. And for these frigid winter games, he has done it again. A startling and perhaps foolhardy display given the weather, but the crowd absolutely roared as he made his way through the stadium. Nobody received a better reception here than Tafatafua. No Russian flag in the parade of nations. The Olympic flag, lifted by a volunteer instead of an athlete, is carried ahead of the Russian team. Or more precisely, the Olympic athletes from Russia. The absence of the Russian flag is part of the punishment for Russia's state backed doping program at the Olympics four years ago. But the Russians still have a robust team of more than 160. Victor on misses his chance at a heroic homecoming. Missing from the group of athletes from Russia was Victor On, a short track speed skater of South Korean descent. He was among the athletes barred from competing in the Pyeongchang Games. Competing here would have been significant for his career. He was one of South Korea's best skaters and won his first three Olympic golds while competing for South Korea. But after a bitter falling out with South Korean sports officials, On switched his allegiance to Russia. Team USA walks out to Gangnam style. Vice President Mike Pence waves at the huge American contingent, at 242 it is the largest ever for any country at any Winter Games. The US also got the chance to walk out to Gangnam style, by far the most successful Korean pop song ever. Two-time gold medalist Shawnee Davis skips opening ceremony. Not everyone was pleased with the selection of Aaron Hamlin as the United States flag bearer. In a tweet sent Thursday night, Shawnee Davis, a four-time medalist in speed skating, said that the United States Olympic Committee had dishonorably tossed a coin to decide its 2018 flag bearer. And on Friday, he was a no-show in the Olympic Stadium for the parade of athletes. In a vote of American team representatives this week, Hamlin and Davis had received four votes apiece. A coin flip was used as a tiebreaker, and Hamlin won. No problem, Davis added in the tweet. I can wait until 2022. Davis, competing at his fifth and presumably final games, added the hashtag, number B-L-A-C-K-H-I-S-T-O-R-Y-M-O-N-T-H-2018. Davis did not appear with the rest of the U.S. long track team at its press conference on Thursday afternoon. That seemed to be a running theme of these games so far. For instance, Brian Hansen, one of Davis's teammates, tweeted out two group photos of the team on Thursday, and Davis was missing from both. Impersonators draw a crowd during parade. There was some commotion in one section of the stadium midway through the parade of athletes, 
when Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un, or, rather, impersonators of them, appeared near the bottom row of stands. There was the famous red baseball cap and red power tie. There was the famous fade haircut. Spectators and members of the news media rushed down to snap photographs of the fake Trump and Kim, who were happy to ham it up for the cameras. Eventually a crew of perturbed-looking ushers came down and broke up the crowd, forcing the pair to leave the stands. The Trump lookalike seemed a bit flustered as he worked his way up the steps. The Kim lookalike could be heard telling him in English, walk slowly, 